Summer bedtimes can be complicated for everyone, but especially for kids. There's no school to make them wake up early, and they could be up later because they're playing outside with family or friends. Yeah, so how do you make sure they are getting enough sleep to stay healthy? Well, Dr. Kelly Fraden is a pediatrician. She joins us now with summer sleep tips for kids. Welcome to the show. I, I think a lot of parents are going to be happy to hear, hear about this. Hi. Yeah, thanks for having me. Sleep is definitely one of the biggest pain points for sure. most parents. So there's a lot we can do to help support our children in their sleep. And, and it starts with the basics, you know, having a bedtime routine, having a consistent um, way of reading them a book, telling them a story, singing them a song, and tucking them in. And the summer, when the schedules get off kilter, often those, those get forgotten. Well, so let's talk about some of the, the common problems that kids have with regard to sleeping during the summer. Is it just is it getting into bed and not being able to fall asleep? Is it not being willing to get into bed? What is it? Yes, often kids will will resist bedtime sure. and will, you know, I think the screens for a lot of children have a big part of yeah. it. When we use those iPads or those video games late at night, that bright blue light will interfere with our natural melatonin secretion and make it harder for us to fall mm -hmm. asleep and settle. You mentioned setting a bedtime kind of routine, even though it is summer. So how do you help prevent those sleep issues during the summer season? Yes, it's important to protect that wind down time to make sure the bedroom is dark and and quiet and cool enough for a good night's sleep. Those can really help. Also making sure kids have a routine to wake up uh, on time as well. Even if it's going to be nine or 10 o'clock, you know, keeping that relatively consistent will help take advantage of their normal body cues to go to bed. So how do you, uh, you know, this is summertime, like you're waiting <laughs> for summertime to come and there's the, you know, sounds outside going on. It's, it's dark, you know, later. How do you make kids feel like they're not missing out when you're sending them to bed or giving them bedtime? Right. Well, you know, parents know their children best, and some kids can be more flexible and go with it. Other kids, maybe they're a little more sensitive, and you'll pay for it if you let them stay yeah. up too late with their behavior. So parents know when they need to be a little more strict and regimented about the sleep and when they can just go with the flow. They're going to want that sleep one day. <laughs> Trust me. They're going to want it one day. Yes. So if a child is having some sleep issues, how do you know when it's a bigger issue or problem and they should probably see a doctor? Yes, frequently parents try to figure it out on their own and they should remember that the pediatrician is there to help. Kids who are coughing at night or getting sick a lot, maybe they have asthma or undiagnosed ear infections. Little babies, they often suffer from acid reflux that can make them fussy at bedtime or wake up frequently at night. And some kids who have a lot of behavioral difficulties, sometimes there might be an underlying ADHD mm -hmm. that makes the, you know, their, their neurodiversity might make bedtime more challenging. Sure. And there are things we can do to help all those. So question for you, uh, you know, I know we hear like teens need more sleep as they, you know, or kids need more sleep as they get older, they get in the teenage years, they want to sleep past noon sometimes. <laughs> Is that a good idea to, to let them do that? Well, it's interesting. You know, our body clocks change as we get older, and teens' bodies want to sleep in. Sure. So allowing them to get sleep is important for their mental health, and it will reduce their rates of anxiety and depression. So within reason, yes, let the teens sleep because they need it. Mm -hmm. All well, right. Dr. Frayden, thank you so much for joining us. I think that we can take heart to these tips for ourselves as well. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you season. so much. All right, you can find more parenting advice and children's health information by following Dr. Frayden on Instagram at advice I give my friends.